Welcome to another episode of Dirty Dane Thrifts. Today we're going to be checking out a 2010 MacBook. So the first thing to do is to take off the third party fabric case that it came in. So let's zip that bad boy down. Alright, so here it is as I got it. Mammoth. We've got a MagSafe, Ethernet, Thunderbolt, USB 2.0, headphone jack, and a Kensington lock. And on the other side, we have a slot loading DVD drive. And it's in pretty good shape except for these little hairline cracks near the hinges. But it doesn't really affect anything yet. Ooh, the gross back of it. Which gets really gross because it's the only part of the laptop that is made out of rubber. And the information, if you can even see it, through the gunk. But hey, I cleaned it up with a magic eraser and it looks awesome now. I cleaned the top too and it's looking fantastic. And here are obviously some other angles of it. Even more angles. Let's open this bad boy up. Alright, it's opened up. Uh, yeah. Has a little Volcom sticker on it. That's cute. MacBook. The keyboard. I love this keyboard. I gotta say. Feels good, man. More shots of the keyboard. This is what sounds like the trackpad. Ooh, that's that's satisfying. All right, gonna install a fresh copy of El Capitan on the dirty book. Whoa, that is way too long. Are you kidding me? You, is this a joke? Is it, am I a joke to you? Okay, that's better. Alright. Still... Still zero seconds remaining. Will it work? Will it turn on? Only the guy in the reflection knows. Uh... Yeah! Alright. For some reason it didn't make the chime, the bong, or whatever you want to call it. But that's okay. It's been hibernating. Sweet. What what's going on? Nothing's working. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that nice fresh install of El Capitan because that's the latest OS that this can handle. Turning up the brightness and you see the display which holds up pretty well I have to say. I like it. Let's check out the specs of this thing. So the stats are 2.4 gigahertz core 2 duo, 2 gigabytes of RAM of uh, DDR3, GeForce 320M Here's the RAM and the storage. Cool. So here's a cheap third party charger that doesn't stay together. As you can see, the thing kind of just goes in, but it's not a snug fit. It'll just come right off. And wait a second, no way. The previous owner didn't take off the protective film. I mean, it's just a charger, but still. Look how shiny and new that is. Oh yeah, look at the reflection. Mm. Oh, the other side too. Let's peel that off. Yeah. Yeah, that feels good. Well, look, there's information about this charger, if you care for some reason. I don't, but you might. Now, let's take these screws off using a bit head that doesn't quite fit. And see how I see how that goes sped up. Let me tell you, 
didn't go that well. I got a couple off, but many of them were struggling, and I was like, what's going on? And then I realized, this isn't the right size bit. And once I got the actual size, the screws came off super easily and fast. And here's that process. Almost done. Almost there. Bear with me. Alright, so I'm using a literal guitar pick to take the back off, but don't do what I did and go in between the rubber and the metal, because I did not know there was two different things, and I ended up separating it a bit at the seam, so a little bit of super glue will probably fix that right up. So taking the back off, you see the components, including the RAM. A fan. Random stuff I don't know about. The DVD drive. And the hard drive. As you can see, it's the original Genuine Mac hard drive. And the battery. Which is kind of filthy. Warning, do not remove the battery. Yeah, whatever. See, the back is metal. It's the only part that's metal. So let's upgrade this RAM. I took the old RAM out, which is this, two sticks of one gigabyte each, and I'm going to attempt to put in four gigabytes each to get eight gigs of RAM. Don't know if it'll work, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's stick that in. Awesome. There in. Now let's give it a little little dust off. I know you're not really supposed to use a brush like this because of static or some shit, but I don't, I don't really care. It's not going to happen, honestly. Alright, the back's put on. Let's try it out. Uh-oh. That's not a good sound. Alright, let's try four gigs. Two gigs each instead. And see if it likes that a bit better. And this time... I didn't put the back on, just in case it didn't work like the last time. Alright, it worked. Sick. Let's give the back a bit of a dusting. Or the back of the back. Yeah, there it is. Four gigs. Wow. What an amazing upgrade. Now we can finally put the back on for good. So here is a comparison of the 2011 MacBook Air in size and thinness. But it didn't have a DVD drive, so, you know. And here's my couple bags of RAM. You need some RAM? I got RAM. Not very great RAM, but I got it. Hit me up. Anyway, thanks for watching.